cause a lot of trouble. We just didn't have a better place to go. We're just all here to have a good time. Hey, hey, I'm Brian Sepp. Welcome to this episode of Going Local. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your favorite car because that's what this episode is going to be about, cars. So tell me what you like. Since it's, I'm in Goshen, it's the first Friday of July, that means one thing. That's the annual Cruise and Reunion Car Cruise. Thousands of people I've read hit the streets downtown of Goshen and line up to see hundreds of classic cars, souped up cars, hot cars, muscle cars, trucks, anything that people think is fancy, and probably not, bring them out and they cruise up and down Main Street here in Goshen. So since I like to be involved in the stories, I've got the old family cruiser here ready to go and we're gonna hop in and we're gonna hit the cruising reunion years ago in Goshen it was popular on a Friday Saturday night to go cruising down Main Street to go up and down back and forth I never I didn't I grew up in a little town we didn't do cruising but um, I've heard of other towns like I used to live in Mishawaka and they had cruising downtown they had to shut down the cruising because it would just cause too much traffic and get in the way now in Goshen for the last eight nine years back in 2008 I read they started this cruising on the first Fridays of July and so since then it's become a staple uh, living in town here for five years I've gone to a couple and while well, I wanted to get involved in my beautiful family car here all right let's go downtown and start cruising Well, I must have hit it early because, well, there's nobody on the street. There's a car. Okay, I went through the loop once. Let's see, there's a few cars out there. I, I just have learned that I don't know anything about cars. I know that they look good. They look beautiful. These guys have kept them up nice. And ladies, sorry. But everybody's kept them up nice. So it's just fun to go out there. Um, gonna go one more time and see, see if I fit in. I'm not sure that I do with the old uh, family car here. But hey, I get to ride through, so Think, tell me what your favorite car is, what your favorite part of cruising is or was in the comments below. All right, so let's go cruise. I got my friend Joel coming, he's right here. And there we go. So let's hop in for a ride. Joel, you said I can have a ride, right? Oh, absolutely. Come on in, Brian. All right, let's go. This is a 1968 uh, Chevelle SS 396 car. Uh, it's a four speed. Uh, it's an all original car. And uh, it came from Texas originally. And then a guy owned it in Michigan. And uh, now I'm the third owner. What brought you to being a car guy? Man, I've been a car guy since I was a little kid. I think my uncles were into cars and my uncle owned a body shop. So is this your first uh, classic car? You know, I have had a couple of projects that I've bought and sold to get to this classic car. Uh, I have worked on them, I have rebuilt them, um, but I, I think uh, Time and money have limited to me, and I, I broke down and said, you know what, I think I'm just going to buy a car that I can have fun with and, and drive. A lot of people that own these cars have been dreaming about them their whole lives, and, and you know maybe they had one when they were a teenager and they, they lost it or had to sell it for one reason or another, and, and it feels like they've always been trying to get back to 
you know, some type of good part in their life. So for somebody like me or anybody else that might be a noob or just new, like what would be like one or two things to enjoy, to try to enjoy or pay attention to? I think the biggest thing is just to pause and take a breath and kind of look at everything. Don't try to to uh, show your car off as much as to look at the other cars. So, I mean, you're bringing your car here to show, but it's just as much as fun to look at in anybody else's car. This truck is awesome. I, 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 it just kills me every time I see it. Old goat. <laughs> The old goat. And, I, and I, it looks like it's got, it looks rusty and old, but it's like an actual paint job it looks like. I want to say thanks to Joel for letting me ride along in this sweet ride. This was really cool. Not gotten to do this before, so like him, this is my first time out here in Goshen. It was a great ride. Love seeing all the people out here. But I think it's time to go see those people and see what they're seeing from their side of the street. here Kurt let's go find out Kurt's story he's an old-school cruiser hey Kurt thanks for letting me on hi welcome aboard so you built this bus with some buddies and why uh, to haul our bikes out to Sturgis South Dakota how long have you had it uh, since 2015 well, hi young man how are hey. you Hello, buddy. Hey. Hello. Here we go, Kurt. have you been in the, have you done the car cruise before yep we've been in every one of them since the reunion well, we, when we were kids, we used to cruise up here till people went to church on Sunday. Back in the days when it, I think it took four hours to get from one end to the other. My father would never admit it. He said he never, he said he never went cruising a day in his life. However, he used to come up here and drive his car up and down Main Street. But he never admitted that it was cruising. And that was, uh, I'd say, about 1934. <laughs> no, excuse me, 1943. Okay. And uh, we never caused a lot of trouble. We just didn't have a better place to go. So what was that? what was cruising like back in the day? I guess. Uh, when I was a kid, oh my gosh, it was it was like he said it'd take two or three hours just to get one direction. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And both blades were full on both yeah. sides. Yeah. I mean, it was packed. And just oh, Main yeah. Street here. And, yeah, well, yeah, mostly Main Street, and then we go down to the where the funeral home is. That'd be a big turnaround, and you'd meet all kinds of people. Well, that's how I reestablished my relationship with him, is because he was uptown cruising in a '67 Chevy, and he had just gotten it, and I was uptown cruising, and he's like, "Hey, let's go ride around." I was like, "Okay." And 30 years later, here we are. <laughs> nice, that's cool. That's that's really cool. I remember one time we were up here, and uh, it was like middle of the night, one o'clock in the morning, and this guy coming through in this great big auto pro truck, like a 32 foot box truck. We're all standing alongside the road. Burnout, burnout. The guy revs it up, dumps the clutch, never moved an inch. The drive shaft's going like this. He destroyed the rear end. So we all went out there and pushed him off the side of the road. We thought, unemployment. Because now my kids have the opportunity, they're up here driving around, you know, and I always, when they killed cruising, which I completely understand the reasons, but when they did that, I kind of felt bad, you know, because they never would have the chance, but now it's just fantastic. I mean, it's pretty good, clean, fun, and I mean, look at these people come out here to, See this local community, everybody's getting together. After riding up and down Main Street a couple times, I have to agree with Kurt and Joel. It's just a great opportunity to get out here, hang out, hang with friends, 
and take it nice and slow. That's another episode. Well, there you go. It's another episode of Going Local. Be sure to like, comment, tell me your favorite car, tell me something we should do, but subscribe so that you can get more videos and keep going local.